Hello and welcome back to Sailing Puffin. For anyone new, Puffin is a Colvick Sailor 26. I acquired her for one pound last year. Abandoned for 10 years and neglected, I've now started the long process of a complete refit. So as you may have seen last week, I managed to fill a lot of the holes in the cabin top to prevent some leaks. And although this week, due to the weather, I haven't managed to do any work, I wanted to discuss my findings on the deck, as well as explaining the bulkhead issues a bit further. So this week's video won't be as long. So first of all, I hope you can hear me with the wind, but the first issue is all these deck fittings quite a lot of them have been leaking and for a long time as well especially around the bottom of the mast here that was where the cables were going through and also through these bolts which I haven't been able to do anything about yet but one thing I have noticed is that these have been leaking for quite some time due to the state of the water that was coming out when I was uh, undoing the fixings so one issue I do see, seem to have is the deck core although the deck doesn't move the deck core is probably um, quite wet now being the construction of this is quite solid is whether or not I should actually remove the core and replace it now there is a few things I have noticed on the deck when I was doing this is obviously the mast on the port side it had um, on the port side there was a lot of water coming out from underneath now I believe that potentially could be where it's leaking through on the port side where the boat used to lean on the starboard side. So perhaps the water was pulling against the bottom of the mast and leaking in. So that's one issue. This is actually plywood underneath here. And that plywood is quite mushy now. Now the other issue with the mast I have is all of these fittings. Now these are very loose. And these are all the shrouds and the forestay. The forestay have already covered, but I'm definitely going to have to replace the plate underneath that. But seeing as I'm probably going to have to look at all of these fixings for the mast, whether it's worthwhile to actually take the mast down. Now, I know that's going to be a pain, but I think it's probably going to be best, especially if I'm going to look at replacing the core in here. Now, the only place where I have noticed that the decks do move is either side the front here. Now that could be because of the bulkheads being um, a bit rubbish but the other issue is it's a lot of work that's going to be to replace all of the core in here. Now luckily enough the sides are obviously not cored and the hole's not cored. It's just literally a strip going along here and the actual top of the cabin top is cored. Now, I'm in no rush. I'm expecting this to take a few years to actually refurbish this. Um, so that's my first question is, should I go full hog and take the mast down, take everything off the deck, sand it all down and actually replace all the core? Personally, I think the fact that I'm wanting to do this with refit complete, as in no corners cut, um, and the fact that I'm probably going to have to take this hatch off and redo a new plywood sort of surround to this and actually make this a lot nicer um, to stop that from leaking. It's probably going to be most ideal to um, do that. I just want to keep on removing the mast and going that route and replacing the core. So that's my issue with the deck fittings that I uh, come across when I was redoing those. But next is on to the bulkheads. So starting at the back of the boat, um, I don't know if you can actually see this, but it's not level. So a lot of this in here, I'll go through. This has got a gap here, and you can see where it's come away. And this is actually supposed to be in that gap there. So as you can see, if I can just about see it, all around here it's actually moved to the left here. 
and you can see here. Now, obviously, what I first thought was, oh, maybe this has just moved across, but this is all completely fixed in here at the bottom, and there's no movement at the bottom. So I'm wondering if someone's actually tried to repair this before and have messed up, because it has got a bit of a checker past this boat, unknown past, and I think someone's tried to repair this and actually fixed it in when they started doing the work and then abandoned it. But that is one issue I've got is things like this are not actually 100% straight. And then the other issue when I come through here is this is where the mast is and these are, I believe they're sort of um, bear the weight of the mast as they are quite solid, but neither of them are the same angle. I know the boat's not 100% level, but these don't match with the angles. And then when I come in here, it's whether or not all of these bulkheads are actually straight. So I could be marking the bulkhead for here and marking it using string to mark it from this bulkhead that's still here. But when you don't know if anything in here is actually still straight and it could have been put back in wonky, I could be putting bulkheads back in wonky because I'm going by previous work. So that's another reason why I'm thinking of taking the mast down is with no weight on the top deck, would I then be all right taking out these bulkheads? So, because then I can actually measure a string coming from the front all the way back to the back and actually redoing the bulkheads from scratch. Now that is a lot of work, but that is the whole point of this channel and having this boat is enjoying the work and uh, learning about boat building really. So that is my questions for you guys. I'm sure a lot of you on YouTube are gonna have a lot of opinions on this, um, but I always like getting opinions on what to do. But there's definitely something going on here and uh, with the engine mounts and nothing seems to line up. There's definitely something going on, so I'd like some opinions on that. But I think I'm definitely want to take the mast down to be able to do the recoring of the deck. And the other issue I have with the mast as well, if we go back up, is I know the lines are quite, quite knackered, but when I've been using the lines to move the boom or what lines are actually still on there, they're catching. And now I thought it was the lines, but every single block, every single one of these blocks, I don't know if you can actually see that, are completely deteriorated. So bear in mind, this has been sat here for 10 years. And then before that, it's been out since the 1980s and a lot of this probably is original but literally all the blocks seem to be deteriorated so I think the blocks at the top are deteriorated as well so that's another reason for taking a mast down um, to replace all the blocks all the running rigging pallards everything like that and I do want to put some new deck lights on there as well on their spreaders but yes just wanted to get your guys opinions on that but next week, I'm hoping to actually get some work done on the boat. But bearing in mind uh, that this is a DIY channel, <laughs> very DIY, and I'm working on a very, very limited budget. That uh, hopefully, if the weather actually is all right, I should be able to finish off the fiberglass in underneath the cockpit. The only reason I haven't done that is because I need to take off the cockpit drains to be able to fit in there. And I'm looking to take the prop off so maybe I can get the shaft out of the way and allow me to have better access underneath there. But there's no water coming in there so at least there's no risk of the beams getting wet or anything like that, but they're epoxy coated anyway. So hopefully that'll be next week, but let me know in the comments down below what you think about taking the mast off and my bulkhead issue, whether I should just strip everything out and start from scratch, or if there's a, another easier way of marking the bulkheads. 
Now remember, the boat's not 100% level and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it 100% level. Um, so I am working through measuring from the front to the back or measuring from the bulkheads. But I'll see you again next week.